nothing elegant about this at all. I'm Josh. I've been working at the archive for around eight years now. I think that's been my ninth year. I actually started on the on the Dark Knight Rises, which was my first production film, um, and came into here uh, and started amassing this huge collection of assets. So this this is the newest iteration of the Batmobile, one of four that was actually created for the film. So this particular version of the Batmobile uh, is one of the two stunt versions. We've got the, the main hero version, uh, which is what we would refer to as the beauty. So it'd be a lot more dressed inside than you would see with this. And it has a lot of more sort of parts in the middle that would dress it out so you'd see in the film. We have the two um, main hero bikes here from the Batman. Um, this is the, the main drifter bike, which is used predominantly for 90, 95% of the film, which we see the most of when he's only in his Bruce Wayne um, getup, if you like. And then for the last sequence of the film, we get the, the reveal of the main bat bike for the end sequence where he drives out the, well, rides out of the cemetery. So this is a, a mass of, of costume and prop assets that we've, we've taken from the Dark Knight franchise. Um, we can start over here with um, the Batman Begins cow. Um, you can probably see the difference between these three cowls already, that that's the, only, that's the only one that's got a neck piece in there. I think it was partly down to um, actor preference. There was a, a move towards having that neck mobility. The bank heist uh, that happens at the beginning of The Dark Knight, this is the multiple masks that we used in that, in that scene. So every clown in the world has to have their, their makeup registered. Uh, and they had to register all of these masks to be used um, within the film. This is one of various versions um, of the shoes that, that would have been worn by Heath um, for this production. This particular version has actually got the, the um, plastic knife in there, which probably would, during the production, had some sort of pneumatic air device in there. So he would have stamped down on, on, the, uh, on the shoe for then the knife to appear for that particular scene. So this is one of the, one of the versions we have of Heath's, uh, Heath's change. So, I believe this change was, was used for the scene where he's got all the mob heads around the table. But when we were actually um, going through the archival process of this costume, we actually found some of Heath's um, green hair on the collar, um, which was yeah, quite, quite eerie to a degree, I think. Um, but it also reminds us, you know, we, we had an amazing talent in this, in this costume and in this, in this version of the character, and he's very much sorely missed. This is the tumbler. This, this is one of, um, I believe there were seven of these made for the production. This particular version has been seen in two color variations, um, although you probably wouldn't know that. You'd probably think there's, there's a camo version and there's a black version. This started life out as, as camo and it then got changed to black. Obviously there's that scene in Batman Begins where he's test driving and he says, does this come in black? So of, of course it does. This is actually the version that's actually got the, the sunroof inside it so it's actually used in all three films this version as a lot of people already know is the Christian Bale version of the bat suit it's very much based on the on a tactical version so it really gives that maneuverability inside it um, there's it's multi-layered you've, you've got this sort of fine mesh material underneath which is sort of more breathable and makes it a lot more lightweight but then you've got these components that sit over the top and there's, there's actually made up of over 100 components. This particular cow, um, again, a lot of people recognize it. It's, it's Michael Keaton's uh, new cow that's used in The Flash. Um, it's a slight update to what we would have previously seen with 89 and 92, um, just a bit of a modernization of that design, but you still get that, that heritage look of how it looked. Uh, for Batman and Batman Returns. So we've got um, two of Ben's cows um, that were used on uh, the Justice League uh, back in 2016. Um, the one on the right is the, the classic look for the cowl. Uh, the one on the left is the, the tactical look, uh, which is the predominant suit used for Justice League. Um, uh, again, a lot, of, a lot of fans will know this, but this, this particular look of, of uh, Cal, especially the one on the right, is, is a big nod towards the Dark Knight Returns. Um, so it's, Ben was always sort of, um, or his version of the character was based more towards a sort of a burly version of Batman as opposed to um, the other iterations we have where it's more tactical based. <laughs> 